So guys, I am currently absolutely surrounded by the damage that me and Bex did. Um, if you haven't watched the vlog, we did a little vlog. Um, it was just a random, like, spontaneous shopping trip. And basically, I just bought all the Christmas stuff. So if you want to see what I've picked up from Home Bargains, Home Sense and B&M, lots of Christmassy stuff, then stay tuned. Hey guys, it's Becky and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hello if you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you love content like this. I do loads of lifestyle, beauty and plus size fashion content every Tuesday and Thursday. So always loads of videos to catch up on. And so I'd love it if you would join me on my channel. <laughs> Um, and hello to my lovely regulars. Thank you so much for joining me again today. These are some of my favourite videos to watch. Um, also some of my favourite videos to film, but my bank account disagrees with that one. Um, just a little premise. This is going to be my first year in my house uh, that I have Christmas. Um, I did make, I, well, basically, long story thought I was meant to be in the house um, just before Christmas and due to many things i didn't get the keys until beginning of feb so <laughs> this is going to be my first christmas and i have got literally no decorations i used to live in london and i didn't bother decorating much at all um and then i lived with my parents for a bit and they have decorations i don't have anything so i bought lots of things i don't know where to start first i think we'll do b and m first um I spent £59 in B&M. Um, I'm hoping nothing is broken. First up, got these two um, really pretty, like, berry sprigs. I do always like to have, like, a little kind of, like, floral splay. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to pop these in with my pampas grass, potentially. Uh, these were these were 3 50 each, which... It's quite a lot, really, and I was a little bit on the fence. Bex actually picked up three or four of them, um, but I just picked up two because um, I'm not 100% sure on what I'm doing yet, even. It's, it's very overwhelming when you're first buying stuff because there's so many styles and ways you can do things, and when you've got nothing, it is overwhelming. Um, that is what I found um then i got this this isn't really oh god this isn't really a um christmas piece this is more of a an autumn piece but to be honest i think i'll keep it out for um winter and put some lights in but i absolutely loved this this was a bargain um this was 12 pounds as part of the homestead range it's the preserve style eucalyptus and it comes in this gorgeous jar with this like golden handle but there's quite a lot of stems it just looks bushy and sometimes when you buy these kind of like fake floral arrangements sometimes they can be a bit sparse and i feel like this one uh for 12 pounds has got a lot in it i love the tones this is going in my office upstairs um and i just think it's really beautiful love the colors um so that's a bit more of an autumnal piece but for 12 pound i was looking in next and they had a smaller one in there that was 25 and a bigger one that was 45 so i think that was a bit of a bargain now on to some christmas stuff oh my gosh oh also, this haul is like everything. So I'll even show you like what foodie toiletry bits I got as well, because I also got stuff like that. But first, these mugs I know are going to go off the shelves like hot cakes. There was already very limited um, stock when I went. I got the hot chocolate and chill. I was just going to get this one, but then I, I did really like this. I do every year always get a Starbucks mug. Um, I love to get a Christmas one. So I was a little bit like, mm, mm, but I do love hot drinks. 
Um, I'm a big hot drink drinker and <laughs> having just mugs like this just kind of makes you super cozy. They semi stack, but not, they're not very compact, but that's okay. So this one says hot chocolate and chill. And this one says ho, ho, ho. And -la 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 -la. Uh, these were 3 50 each. Again, like not super, super cheap, but I think for the size and like this would be such a cute gift. Um, you could always um, go to Wittard to get a lovely hot chocolate and put that in a gift together. And I think that would be probably like £10 for both. Uh, would be good for like a secret Santa, something like that. Then I got, I think these are potentially my favourite decoration. They have got a little bit of glitter on them. <laughs> these are giving me major white company vibes. Um... I need to like wrap them up, I think, in a bit of tissue or something. But they're these boho bead Christmas tree, Christmas tree decorations. Um, they are part of the festive nature range and these were 2 50 each. Um, they're just like a matte ceramic material. So I've got to be quite careful with them. But they're definitely like when you look at my... Um, living room interior like it is there is quite like a boho vibe to the room so i thought these would be perfect whether they go on the tree or whether i kind of hang them up somewhere uh bex was like get if, get if you get decoration you've got to get free you've got to get free of everything so i got free they also had one in the shape of a house and one in the shape of like a star in like a circle. They didn't give me major Christmassy vibes. They were they just looked like every day. But this this one I really loved. And I think this was the most popular one. There wasn't too many left, especially after I <laughs> bought my free. Um, then up next, not very exciting purchase, but a necessary one. Um, and on my feet being so cold the weather has turned officially um and as I didn't have any fluffy socks I can't remember to go all the way to Primark um so I did pick these ones up for four pounds I don't know what they're going to be like they do look like strangely like long but thin so I'm hoping they fit me okay if they don't I'll just pass them on to someone else and have to go to Primark inevitably um but i really like them um then up next a couple of wagon mamas bad ties um never tried um never tried a pad thai sachet before um so i got two because they weren't that expensive i don't think then um <laughs> A bit of a random purchase but i got three of the dove summer refreshing summer care berries and citrus fruit um i love dove roll-on and i love all the different scents they do um i hadn't i feel like home bargains um have kind of like a collaboration with dove that you can't get anywhere else and they do seasonal stuff um just smells really nice and fresh and i love all the different scents that dove um does do so i just thought well as i'm here and it's cheap i'll stock up and then finally it seems like i haven't got a lot for my money <laughs> does anyone feel like they're always shocked of the prices in um b m because i always feel like um yeah i'm always surprised by oh i forgot something that's why i was like surely this is a never fit that was <laughs> basically 60 quid um but up next these i just think bex found these they go really really nicely with these ones um the festive nature and the midnight glamour are definitely like my favorite themes um at the b&m christmas range i do quite like the pink but it is very pink and i'm trying to yeah the pink range is called divine sparkle 
um but i love these again giving me very like major like white company vibes these were 250 as well and bex made me pick up free because decorations apparently should come in free becky is a christmas decorating expert i think to be honest like that should be her job like she i think she had four christmas trees last year she loves christmas so i think that's she should do that she should become one of those like professional christmas decorators and then finally yeah this was the thing that kind of um added the basket total up a bit um this is a tree skirt we've never had a tree skirt in our family we just normally just covered it up with presents we normally once we've wrapped up the presents for our family just put them in front of the tree um not like the night before we just like put them there as like decoration almost but I saw this and I just really liked it. Again, it really goes with my living room. Um, I think my parents are giving me a Christmas tree that they no longer use. Um, but I really want to get, a, because I think this one's covered in snow. I'm kind of, don't want to hoover that up all the time. <laughs> so I might get a pre-lit Christmas tree. I like the idea of a pre-lit moment because... I know the hassle my mum had for all those years with um, fairy lights and stuff. So I'm going to have a look around yet. I'm not 100% not sure, but I will be getting a tree. So the tree skirt and me and Bex love anthropology vibes. Don't love their prices. And we found one kind of similar vibe to this. And it was like £130 or something crazy. So this was 15 uh, which I think is still quite a lot of money really for tree skirt um but it is like knitted and there's a bit of like metallic thread in it so yeah i think that's the thing because i'm having to buy everything um it is it is a lot it is a lot so i did also get a bottle of coke from <laughs> from oh my lord um b m but that has been drank so up next is Home Bargains. Um, also, how, I'm so fancy with my Le Creuset um, reusable bag. Um, home Bargains was insane. Um, we've got a really, our nearest Home Bargains, which is still a bit of a drive, is quite small. So we actually decided to go to one a little bit further away. It was only a half hour drive, so it wasn't like that far away. And we said like, we're never going to the small one again. The big one is where it's at. They've just got so much more stock out and shout out to the staff member. Uh, there was a staff member there, like honestly, really amazing service, especially for like a shop like Home Bargains. Like people were coming in, they really wanted that glass pumpkin jar. And um, she was like, let, let me take your number. Like I'll call you if we ever get any more in stock. But she wasn't sure if they were going to get because it's like it's October now, guys, isn't it? But I think this is like the... <laughs> This is, I think, the Christmas must-have. I've seen these all over TikTok. And I just, I just bought one. I don't really think it's going to really go with what I'm doing here for Christmas. But it's a bit of fun. It was only a fiver. I think this for a fiver is such a good price. They had them in red and white as well. And then they had a red and white one that was all, like, tinselly. That was my fave, but I'm not doing red and white anywhere in my house, so I had to stick with the pink one. I think I'm going to stick this in the handle of my bar cart, almost like treat vibes, um, but it's so hilarious. I feel like also if you're going to like a Christmas party, you could almost use it like if you could dress up. I don't know, I feel like it's almost like a prop, um, like a, sh a sugar plum fairy. It makes me look so small. <laughs> i love it <laughs> um but these were selling like people were going out with trolleys full of them i remember like as we were going in the shop i was like beck they've got the lollipops so if you want them get them fast i also got a um what do you call these like a light up tree berry tree it's called what is it called a 1.5 meter light up berry tree. I really like the oh, I really like the big, the big lights on it. 
I just like that. And also, if you do want to put decorations on it, because they are slightly bigger, they can kind of like hold, like hold them a bit if the if the branch drops a bit. Um, this was twenty quid, which I think is such a good buy. My mum, well, obviously this was like years and years ago. She really wanted one when they first kind of started becoming quite fashionable. She uh, bought us from John Lewis and it was so expensive. Um, so it's really great to see that you can now get them for like way, way, way cheaper. This I'm gonna put in my office, especially as it does, it gets quite gloomy and dark in my office. Um, so I think this will just kind of like brighten it up a bit. I'm gonna be sad to put it away in January, I think though, but yeah, 20 pounds really really pleased with that and then another bit of festive lighting i'm not planning on putting any christmas lights up outside um it's just i don't have a ladder i just it's just not something i'm into but i thought this would be really nice um, I do have like a hanging basket bracket outside my house. Um, at the moment, it's got like a fake topiary ball on it. Um, and then I saw this and I just thought, well, that would be really cute to replace it for Christmas. It's battery operated. So say if I do go see my boyfriend for a weekend or whatever, like it's not going to be on. And that's fine. I'm like not worried. Um, but it does have like a six, six hours. Six that turns off. Oh! Oh, that's amazing when left on the light will run for six hours then automatically turn off for 18 and then resume at the same time next day for six hours that's really smart this was only tenner a tenner and it does that so that's really cool and it can be used outside i did double check that um i also want to get a wreath but there were some really lovely ones in um home sense but they were 30 pounds but looking back i think that was actually quite reasonable i was just being cheap um this i thought was so cute i don't have a um a wax melt thing i want to get one because everyone goes on about how good they are um so i'm either going to get a tea light one but right let me know in the comments guys tea light wax melter or electric wax melter i need some help but i did buy i bought two i bought one for my um sister-in-law and my niece they love shit like this so they also had like a, a halloween one um but they were all a bit beat up um so i didn't get one there but i just thought this was really cute and this is going to inspire me to get a wax melt thing because i've got lots of flavors to try christmas tree warm apple pie winter white frankincense home baking festive vanilla sugar plum apple cinnamon fireside glow cinnamon nutmeg frosted cranberry mulled wine i think this was three quid and i think what a lovely little gift as well secret santa kind of thing um and this is by air pure don't know what that is but they just were so cute they also did a advent calendar that was six pounds of course <laughs> um they had loads of um orange ones and so we got i got one of the orange ones and this woman that was given the amazing customer service said do you want a white one and i was like well i didn't know they did a white one but yeah i would like a white one um and she basically said that they come in boxes of eight and only two of them are the white and gold and all the rest of this orange and she just said everyone just wants the white one which i do understand because <laughs> when she was like do you want the white one i was like yeah um and she was like well these are the these are the last two and she was like becky do you want one and she was like oh well, yeah oh if it's the last one i want it <laughs> This was six pounds. Um, I like it because it's like those um, pumpkin jars from Home Sense, but they haven't got a candle in, so I can put a little treat or I think biscuits will be nice in here uh, for six quid. I did like the orange one as well. The orange one was really nice, but the white one I can just put anywhere in my house. And that's why people like the white one. It's so versatile and easy and it's got a nice little gold top how cute really nice um but yeah if you 
want the white one, I would suggest becoming friends with a member of the staff. I love these truffles. These are, um, they're just called truffles. So they're like the flaked ones. Love, love them so much. M&S do them as well and I really like them. I did get a bag of these um, crisps. I think these are like 70p. They're so, so cheap. They're such a good buy. This is the maple bacon flavour one. I really like them. Just a nice little snack. Um, I got this to try. I, um, I haven't had like craft macaroni and cheese in ages. And I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just thought, give it a go. Um, got one of these to try. It is a Reese's Overload pretzel caramel peanut butter and peanuts in a chocolate coating. Um, Halloween fondant fancies. I love fondant fancies. And then let's make them seasonal. Um, this is something some people I think is going to think it's disgusting. Um, I kind of agree with you, but here I am. Um, it is a Frey Bentos steak and kidney suet pudding. I love suet puddings and they're just so hard to come by like no one makes them anymore um I just wanted to try it guys I just wanted to try it I love suet pudding so if you know somewhere that does really good suet puddings let me know I did pick up one bottle of brother's toffee apple cider it is the season but I, ne I don't like buying multi-packs because I get bored of the flavors they're very very like strong flavors so when i buy like a six pack i get a bit bored of them uh, then i picked up four of these my dad loves them they are the walkers um like little toffee packs and i got uh two of the dairy and two of the licorice he absolutely loves them so every time i go i just pick him it's a pound for the four so then I did get the Comfort Winter Warmth Fabric Conditioner. Love the packaging. Um, I also like that it's not like Christmas. They've not made it like religious or anything. They've just made it winter seasonal. So this is Sweet Mandarin Honey and Cedarwood. I will say definitely smell any of the other products in this range we smelt the cream cleaner and the like the spray and they didn't smell the same like they weren't as nice mm. it's really like citrusy and warm but in the other products i don't know i don't know definitely definitely like smell them before you buy them um these are horrible <laughs> I had one last night and um they're not how I remember them to be. They're like bubblegum fizzy bottles. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw them. I can't stand them. They taste like soap. Horrible. Absolutely vile. Don't get them. Ah. And then finally I got some uh, got an itchy nose and I've just put all my makeup on so I'm like just like putting my nail <laughs> does anyone else do that you have to like Ugh. um this is the winter morning um seasonal scent they did obviously have this in the dilute but I just like it in this scent it says it's a light refreshing fragrance with apple and sweet vanilla and a touch of seasonal warmth i will say this is a very fresh scent they did have all of like the mrs hinch stacy solomon ranges and they were very very um for pine heavy i do really wonder like what like what do they, do they really like that scent but this is really nice so um just because it's mrs hinge doesn't mean you have to buy it if you don't like the smell <laughs> um the mrs hinge is way nicer than the stacy solomon i will say it's like eucalyptus and fur so it's got like a bit of um like mintiness to it but this is way better than all of them, in my opinion, of course. Uh, so this was the last one, but they had loads of the dilute left. Um, 
but they'll obviously be getting loads more in as we go so that is everything from my home sense my receipt oh gosh how much did i spend 67 pounds 67 pounds wow i think i got quite a lot though next up is home sense now guys this cushion i'm showing you next is i think an absolute bargain so we both got one of these and it's gorgeous this was 15 pounds and we were shocked at that price because of how detailed it is can you see like even the sign says i think it says like christmas tree farm that's all embroidered like the reef is all in, like it's all beautifully embroidered it's really really well stuffed and it's like a firm pillow it's also got this um like backing on it feels really good quality i was thinking it was going to be 20 25 pound so for 15 pound for this this is either going to go here in my living room because i think it will kind of go because i do have uh pops of like blue and stuff in my living room or it's going to go in my bedroom because i have like a sage green bedroom it's got like blues and greens and browns and gray so it's very very versatile and that's why i loved it because i was like it will go somewhere <laughs> There's a lot of Christmas stuff from Home Sense. They had got so much Christmas stuff. It was, as per usual, overwhelming. <laughs> but first up, we have got, um, these are by Bella Lux. And they're just some pink baubles, $4.99 for free. I'm hoping they're all okay. I think they're all okay. That's the problem with all of these beautiful glass baubles. Up next, these were my absolute favourites. They're like white with all of this like sequin. They're by Nova Grazza Holiday. Um, these were £5.99, so £1 more, but I really, really love them. Um, and then I also got these ones. I think they're it's so stressful all of these baubles these are blue so um i've got i'm quite specific with the tone of blue it's almost kind of like an aqua blue um so bex found these ones and these were 6.99 these are by tinsel and fur i do think all of these brands i'm saying are tk max brands if you know what i mean they're not like not real brands but <laughs> No one's going to know where you get something from. Um, then I got this, which I thought was really cool. Um, it's a big, well, it's not big, but it's big. I don't know. It's big for a tabletop. It is a just a big snowy Christmas tree and it's got lights inside. Um, I need to, I'm going to need to get so many batteries. So I'm going to go to Costco. This is by a brand called Lu, Lumineo. It's a tinsel, tinsel figure. Um, this was $7.99 and it has that six hour, 18 hour function. I think that's so, so cute to put somewhere inside i really i just liked it and the thing with home sense is you just have to buy it if you like it you can always return it but if you go back for it it's not going to be there is it then i did pick up these tea towels i really liked them um they've got the nice little bit of gray um kind of snow detail but i just loved the trees these are by KitchenAid, and they're that really nice kind of waffle really absorbing type um tea towels and these were 6.99 not cheap but not too expensive uh, and then i got this i thought it was cute it says joy bex was like what are you gonna fit in there and i said that's nuts and coat chocolate coated things um i don't i don't have too many people around anyway so uh <laughs> 
<laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, but I just liked it. This was $7.99 from $17.50, apparently. Um, I just thought it was cute and it's small. Um, they had one that was like huge and said love and other things. I like that because it was small. And then final thing, guys, of my spendathon. This is delicious. This is a Yankee candle um, in, the sh in the shade, in the scent Arctic Frost. Oh my lordy lord, it's, it's absolutely delicious. Also the lid, was it, was it like this? Was it, yeah. It also becomes a little stand. Um, this is gonna be for my kitchen or anywhere to be honest it's a very fresh but sweet scent it's delicious it's part of the elevation collection um and i think it's made with like um fragrance with pure natural extracts um but it smells incredible this was the nicest smelling christmas candle really really like it this was this was a bit expensive for a tk maxx candle this was 11.99 apparently from 21.99 um but it is a yankee so it is like a proper brand name uh rather than just like the tk maxx like dw range <sighs> i've now got to put all this away um, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, obviously, this isn't going to be the last Christmas haul. I do already have some bits that I may have bought. Um, but do let me know um, where you've been seeing some good things. I do want to go to, like, John Lewis. I, I do want to do, like, a day in London going to, like, Liberties and um, Selfridges and Harrods. Because um, I want to, while, like you know, I do like to get like bargain bits and stuff. I do also want to get some pieces that are going to last a lifetime, you know, that I'm going to keep forever and invest in a couple of really special pieces. Um, but also I've got a lot to buy. So not everything can be an investment, but that is the end of the haul. Oh, I am, I'm really pleased with everything and um, there's some really really nice stuff out there at the moment but I would suggest as with all the autumn decor if you like anything in this haul or you see any other YouTubers haul anything just go out and buy it. I know it's so early I didn't want to buy anything Christmas before October but seeing people in you know coming out with trolleys of Christmas stuff and I'm not gonna lie some of those like little hooks were, were empty the stuff was selling so quick if you want something and you really like it don't wait don't wait just buy it um uh, uh, Christmas is coming earlier and earlier and if you like to have a certain aesthetic if you like to keep up with the trends then yeah unfortunately you're gonna have to be partaking in it early too um especially if you want your little lollipop but yeah that's my advice to you but you don't have to follow it <laughs> um and with that all said and done um do uh give me a subscribe if you haven't yet give me a big thumbs up and yeah let me know down below in the comments where you've been seeing some really cute stuff is there anywhere you think i need to urgently check out um and i will catch you in my next one guys bye